YouTube, how's everybody doing? I hope you guys are having a great day. So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do this basically. It's like a door fly open transition. And this effect was used by Ben TK in his recent um, 12, his, his Europe video, okay? And Ben, if you're watching this, you are an amazing inspiration to all of us creators and just keep creating, man. Like, your videos absolutely blew my mind. Like, I, I don't know how you do it, man. If you guys don't know who Ben is, uh, the few of you that don't know who he is, go subscribe to his channel. I'll leave it linked down below. He's like a travel filmmaker. He makes some great stuff. I'll put some examples of his work on screen now. But now that we've done that quick little shout out, let's get into how we actually do this effect. Also, if you've never seen my face on our screen, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button. I'm gonna be completely honest, this effect is like, I've been trying to figure this out for like a week or something like that. It literally kept me up like the other night and I finally figured out how to do it and I'm so thankful that I did. I'm not sure if this is exactly how Ben does it, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty close to how he does it. Also, if my voice sounds a little bit weird, uh, I am sick and uh, yeah, hopefully I can get better. But without further ado, I'm gonna quit rambling and let's get into how to do this. So we're gonna be using Adobe After Effects. And you're gonna need two types of clips for this. So the first clip that you're gonna need is like a view like a street view of these houses as you can see i got this stock clip from adobe stock it's not even a video it's actually a photo um i'm not sure if he used video but if it were my guess he would actually just use the video and freeze frame it and then that way he would zoom in and use keyframing kind of like i did in the beginning i just keyframed it and added motion blur and the second thing you obviously want is like the clip under the door so when you open it it's the clip that you see i use a hyperlapse for this i actually use ryan angle's stop clips from santorini you can use any clip you want i just think a hyperlapse is the most fluent way and that's what he uses but anyways once i've imported these two clips on my timeline all you want to do is take the h tool which is the hand tool up here and we're gonna scroll in a little bit and I think this is the exact window that we want to open up. What I'm gonna do is take my pen tool and I'm going to actually duplicate this layer three times. What I'm gonna do is go Control C, Control V. We're gonna duplicate it one time. I'm just gonna kind of take this pen tool, which is G on your keyboard, and I'm gonna make a square around this. And you can't see it, but what that does is it basically cuts this out so you also disable this one. So it kind of cuts it out and uh, just cuts out anything around it. Duplicate that clip by Control C, Control V. Hit V on your keyboard to do the select tool and just drag it over a little bit. And boom, just like that, we got our two windows. Now we're gonna disable those two layers. Enable the bottom layer and we're gonna hit G on your keyboard to bring up the pen tool again. And just make a square around the whole door frame. Hey guys, it's uh, editing Matthew here and I'm basically just here to like clear up some things. So kind of sorry for ruining like the professionalism of this video, but if you're still watching, thank you. So I kind of confused myself here. I might have confused some people. So like at this point in the video, I started making like a shape around the uh, square thing. And so like, I was supposed to be making like a mask on the layer, but I started making a shape. I fixed it in like two seconds, but yeah, I'm sorry. Um, hopefully you understand what you're doing if you're following along with this tutorial. And uh, yeah, um, thank you for watching this far and keep watching the video and have a great day. And then just do it like that. And then once you do that, you wanna right click on this clip, right click on one of the anchor points and hit mask and then invert it by hitting invert it. Once we've done that, we've created basically what we can see the clip. And uh, if I enable this, we can see it, but we need to make these windows or the door, whichever one you choose, open up. What I'm gonna do is enable both of these layers. I'm gonna make these 3D layers. So what I'm gonna do is hit this little cube looking thing on all of these clips. I'm gonna hit the down arrow and I'm gonna go to transform. And then I think I'm just gonna drag it like over here. I'm also gonna reposition this window because it looks a little bit wrong and so yeah now what we're gonna do is do that on the other door transform and we're also gonna hit Y rotation hit the H tool on your keyboard and then hit Y on your keyboard we want to make this basically like kind of like the door like how do I explain this it's kind of like the doorknob right so like if we place that there, when we move the Y rotation, it's gonna be rotating that way. Does that make sense? I don't know if it does. We're also gonna do this on this clip by hitting Y on our keyboard, and boom. Okay, so now we're just gonna scrub through the clip a little bit more, and I think that's a good length. We're gonna go down to the Y rotation, and we are just going to open this. We're gonna do 133. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other door. 
We're gonna make that negative 133 though. Just like that, looks really great and yeah. Now to make this more realistic, what we're gonna do is select these two clips, select the keyframes and go to right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Now do this on the other clip too. Select these two clips and go into the graph editor by hitting this. And we're gonna select these squares and just drag this one by holding shift on our keyboard and dragging to the right and then this one to the left. Disable that and then go up here to the top and do the same thing to these keyframes by just doing this. To sell this effect a lot more, now what we want to do is add motion blur by enabling these. If you haven't already enabled motion blur on your whole timeline sequence, then hit this little icon right here. And as you can see, if we just let it pre-render, it takes a long time to do that if you can't tell. Boom, looks really nice. And obviously now we can just enable this clip under it, but in a pre-render, might as well check my Instagram DMs. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to do that, um, at Matt Vitsky, so yeah. Okay, now we're gonna take the H tool and zoom out on this clip. I'm actually gonna go to fit, and now we get into the least fun stuff. We're gonna select all these clips and pre-compose them by right-clicking and hitting pre-compose. And we basically just made that into one clip. Now hit the down arrow and go to transform, and we're gonna hit keyframes for position and scale. I'm gonna scale in like so and i'm kind of just gonna move around the clips so, like we can start off right here and then maybe we want to like move over to right here and we're just gonna keep like moving it around until like obviously you want to do this more efficiently if you're actually going to do this effect in a video so yeah just move down and if we play that through we're also going to enable motion blur, it looks more realistic like that, and as you can see, Fenty K uses motion blur all the time to sell his effects. And it looks legit, right? Like, no one's going to know that that is fake unless they're a video editor. So yeah, that looks kind of real, in a way. I mean, I guess we could smooth this out by adding our graph editor and dandy work. Oh my gosh, that is a mess. Okay, so so yeah, basically what we're gonna do now is we are going to go over here, and as soon as this starts opening up, we're gonna hit S on our keyboard, kind of hit a keyframe right there, and then basically zoom in, yeah, into that clip, just like that. So if we play this through once again, and we let it pre-render, Yeah, that looks pretty legit. I'm happy with it. Obviously, this effect isn't the best for tutorial purposes. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. I make videos like this every single week. But yeah, I've been Matthew. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for supporting your channel. And if you have made it this far, I really want to say thank you for you. We actually just hit 1.3k on the channel. As a kid watching Minecraft videos, I never thought that we would make it this far. But we did, and it's just the beginning. I'll see you guys in the next video, and yeah, peace. Peace.